All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the elect, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim, doing and pushing this word in 100% truth with all sincerity. And uh, sincere shalom to the sincere sisters out there, okay? Uh, you know, this Trinity thing, it won't work, man. You know, here it is, you got vocab. You know, this is an old video. You know, as we used to say, back on his shit. Well, he's still on his shit, okay? It won't work, man. Then you had this guy over here, you know, the same thing. God and God and uh, uh, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are the same person. And, you know, he, he, I, I don't think these people read the scriptures. That's the problem. I really don't think that these individuals read the scriptures. And even sometimes these individuals over here, too, because they had mentioned about Paul, the writing of Paul and this and that. And anyways, main point. You know, that, that, you know, the Trinity thing and God and Yahweh Shai is the same person and all this stuff. It won't work, man, because you guys don't read the scriptures. Okay. And the spirit, clearly the spirit is not working with you. Now we're going to go through, this is not even going to be long. There's no need to make this video long. Okay. I'm just going to read these scriptures, go through it, and you be the judge. All right. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see what everybody else is truly supposed to see, but hey, who the, who Yahweh Bashim El Shai wants to know and see, they will see, okay? But it's so plain that the whole fucking world should be able to, to, to see it. Strain at a gnat, right? Okay, let's go into this real quick. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey Yahweh rather than men. And, you know, this is the order of things. You just read the scriptures. What can they say? When you read these scriptures, when you define, when you go through with the spirit on you, you go through and you pull out those, you know, those good chunky scriptures, the haymakers. It's funny how they like to play circumlocution and run back to what they've always been saying and, and, and try to make it like a fog. Like, that was my answer keep it the, the regardless of what what is being said in the scriptures that's my answer keep it and they do this little circumlocution dance as a fog okay metaphorically speaking like, like you throw a smoke grenade right and when the smoke clears they're still standing there saying the same shit and guess what the argument has been won by our side by the side of truth and they're standing there with their falsehood looking at us like how come you won't believe what i'm saying Man, because we can see see through your crap. You don't you don't have the spirit, man. Okay. Anyways, the God of our fathers, the power of our fathers, raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hung on a tree. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. Now, my uh blown by it but here it is the god of our fathers raised up yahweh shai okay meaning the power yahweh okay simple and plain how does it say yahweh shai raised up himself all right on to the next scripture luke chapter 3 and verse 22 and the holy ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved son. In thee I am well pleased. And Yahweh Shai himself began to be about thirty years, thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, no, he was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Helene. Okay. Main point. A voice came from heaven, which said, what? Thou art my son, in thee I am well pleased. So wait, he flew, he went into, like, what was he doing? He was, he was an incandescent light bulb. He was flickering really fast that you can't see. In heaven and then down on earth, in heaven, down on earth, in heaven and earth. And then you're hearing the voice say, 
where it does take seven minutes f from the sun for the light for the sun to reach here, right? So I guess he disappeared quickly, made that announcement, and flew back perfectly so he could get that voice and say, see, my father from heaven has said it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. You people are ridiculous, man. You people are really ridiculous. And, and you know, you, you're going to you're gonna pay for all the crap that you've been spewing. Okay. Those who know they're Israelites, because 4 and 17 says that judgment must begin at the house of Israel. So those of the circumcision, shame on you. Shame on you. And then the rest of you people who don't believe and whatnot. And, you know, we already know what the judgment of you people will be. Okay. So main point. Father, son, order, okay? Luke chapter 2 and verse uh, 49. And he said unto them, How is it that he sought? Actually, you know what? Uh, verse 45. And when they found him not, they turned, Luke chapter 2 and 45, turned back again to Jerusalem. This is the Yahweh Shai's parents, seeking him, looking for him, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they, oh, 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 after three days, they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the doc the doctors both hearing them and answering questions uh slaki and answering them questions and answering them questions and all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers and when they saw him they were amazed and his and his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Was was ye not that I must be about my father's business? So he's basically saying, you don't know that I'm about the Heavenly Father, my Father's business? Pause for a second. He said what? He's about his Father's business? And he's the Son? Okay. This is my well-beloved Son. Here he is. Okay. So what's going on here? Does somebody have a, a brain problem or... We could clearly see somebody's mind is, unless you're doing that really like, you're really like slow or something. Unless you got the bag, one to two, you, like you have some kind of like legitimate problem you need to go to the doctor in your head with. Okay, because I don't know how you can read these things and then go to another understanding. Or you took the fucking bag, one to two. Okay, one to two. It's either you got a fucking mental problem, like legitimately, like go to the doctor and get your brain checked out. There's a blood clot sitting on this side or that side or whatever it may be. Or maybe your vision is, is obscured, you know? My vision is not all that super great, but come on now. You Either you have a mental, like something's really, 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 like nigga, something's really wrong with your brain. Or you took the bag, okay? Because I can read this to 10 people on the street and they'll get it like that. All right? But for some odd reason, Daniel chapter 3 and verse 25, he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Why is Nebuchadnezzar talking about the Son of God? Hmm. Shows you that, shows you that even, you know, back then, they knew about the Son of the Most High. When, when it came to prophecies and certain things within the scriptures, they knew. How the hell is this heathen, what, the Lord just tapped him with his finger and made him alert? This is something well spoken about among, amongst our people. It's called prophecies. <laughs> okay. But the main point is, this man is identifying him as who? The Son of God. And how the hell would he know what the Son of God looks like? <laughs> but anyways, going back into this. Like I said, you either got to go to the doctor 
or tell them, yo, have back your bag. Because <laughs> that's what it is. Scriptures clearly tell you about the man who takes the bag, man. And, uh, you know, I, I have to say in my mind, like, a lot of you guys are looking suspiciously that you took that bag, okay? It's so Iraq chapter 20 and 29. Presence and gift blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Wisdom that is hid and treasure that is hoarded up. What profit is in them both? Okay. Better it is, better is he that hideth his folly. See, are you hearing this? Than a man that hideth his wisdom. Ooh. So a nigga, a fucking nigga. In the state of being, or, hey, somebody of the circumcision may have done some stupidness is better. Uh, that man hiding his folly is better than you hiding your fucking wisdom, man. Goddamn two-thirds is better than a man like that. In a sense, because look, the two-thirds, he, he don't know stupid. He, he just bump, bumping, bumping his gums and, and carrying on about his way. You know, but you, 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 you know the truth. You know what's up. You're you're ten times worse, and you're hiding the truth. Fuck, you got a death wish, man. But anyways, presence and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. And that's right. You got a lot of these guys that's took in the bag, man. Took in the fucking bag, and we could clearly see it's all coming to to to, to surface, man. You know, you take the uh, hyssop, you know, what's that scripture again? Purge me with hyssop, okay? You take a, 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 a bubbling agent in there, and you know how, like, you say, pour peroxide in the cut, and they bubble the shit to the surface, right? That's what's happening right now. All these men's folly is being made known to the world, man. So Iraq, I mean, Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart, destroyeth the mind, man. Okay? And you can clearly see, these guys are off, man. Off. Hebrews 10 and verse 12. But this man, after he had offered, offered one sacrifice for sins forever, sat down on the right hand of God. So he's doing this flickering thing, okay? I guess. I guess he's doing this flickering thing where he's sitting beside the most high, but then he's in the seat, and then he's not in the seat, and then he's in the seat, he's not in the seat. You people are fucking crazy, man. Bitch ass niggas. <laughs> Philippians. Um, yeah, this is the last. Well, actually, it's the last one here I want to get. Well, actually, no, I want to get this afterwards. Yeah. So let's get this real quick. Acts chapter 2 and verse uh, 32. For all you Trinity Trinity heads. Because remember, I just said, you know, after he after he had uh after he had done what he'd done, he's what? Sitting on the right hand. Sitting on the right hand. Okay? I don't understand, like how, how do you what are you doing? You're doing this flickering thing where you're just sitting there and all of a sudden you're sitting back in that seat? Come on now, man. Oh, yeah. So let me, um, this one's, I'm going to keep that one for last. Acts chapter 2 and 32. This, Yahweh Shai, have Yahweh raised up. Wherefore, we are, we all are witness. Witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. I don't understand this. I'm getting dizzy in the head. <laughs> it says, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost. So he made a promise to himself and flew down to earth and come on man you got you guys gotta clarify this shit man 
Okay, and right now we can clearly see you off. You off. You lost in the fucking sauce. You lying to the people. Okay? Give it up. Give them back that bag. Tell them, yo, I got to retire from this. I got I to gotta go listen to those Hebrew Israelites because they're right. Okay? But people do anything for the bag, man. Even even if they know, hey, girls are online doing stuff with animals for the bag. Flying over Dubai, having people poo on them and shit for the bag. So you're telling me that, you know, these, these niggas that grew up in the hood are even vocabbing them. Somebody goes, yo, check your account. Woo! And all I got to just say is that? Yeah. Yo, check your account. Woo! All I gotta do is just stop saying the name. Yep, that's it. And time to time, we'll give you a little sheet to say, you know. That's it. Man, ain't no harm in that, man. Yeah, see, go ahead. You know, that's that's what's in their mind. You know, they're weak. Anyways, John chapter 10 and verse 36. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest. Because I say, I am the Son of God. If I do not, if I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. That was the one I just want to uh, punch in the face. Okay. And below it says, yeah, that the Father is in me, and I am in Him. Well, first of all, who 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 created us? All right. Yeah, in verse thirty, I and my Father are one. Well, you guys are not getting the understanding of that, okay? Here it is, you know, Yahweh Shai keeps telling you. He's coming in the likeness. He's coming to do the work of his father. He's not coming to us, uh, you know, stray off from what the father sent him to do. He has the same likeness as the father. So when you see him, it's, it's, it's a, a representation Okay? He doesn't go off. He doesn't go off this way or that way. You know what I mean? He came to walk that straight line to the T. Okay? And bring us this message. And look, you got these niggas like Vocab talking about the Father and him are one. Are, are, they're the same person. He goes, he, can't, he made himself come down here and all that whack bullshit. Okay? Eli, Eli, Lemus the Beth. Who the hell is he praying to? Himself? Fucking jackasses, man. So anyways, let's, let's go to the last scripture here. I want to get this. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 15. Some indeed preach Hamashiach, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Hamashiach of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other in love knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. That's why we out there doing what we're doing. We're set for the defense of the gospel. We believe, thus we speak, okay? We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Before we even seen a major amount of these prophecies kicking off, guess what? All these things start happening before we even, um, you know, as they would say before, before we could really even see it, it was happening, all right? Hold on one second, Salakia. <laughs> so yeah, you know, when all these things were, uh, as you would say, on the burner, right? In the back burner, we believed, okay? But anyways, let's continue. Um, what then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Hamashiach is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. So rather you guys are doing it in, in, in falsehood or whatever, we're glad and rejoicing because the name of Yahweh Hashim is getting out there, and people are starting to wake up and see what it really is, what's really going on, you know what I mean? So instead of the falsehood that we've been taught for all these years, you know, this uh, poster of a so-called white man up there talking about he is, 
and all this. No, 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 he isn't, okay? Because they lied to us about the image. They lied to us about who he is. They lied to us about a, a ton of things, okay? And now we're being awoken. So, hey, you know, like I said, he said, son of God, the Trinity thing ain't working, okay? So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaq Wadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the elect, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to you, um, sincere sisters out there who do, you know, follow and listen. Okay? Sincere shalom to all the Akim. Matthew chapter 24 and 13. 24 and 13 to you all. Wa habad babal. Shalom akim.